morning, a reaction from the TMC camp, uh, which has called the inauguration program scheduled for Sunday a PR stunt for Prime Minister Modi. Listen in. Dada, uh, what is it that uh, all the opposition, Trinamool Congress also, uh, you all are not participate, will not be participating in the new building inauguration of parliament? No, I do not know about all opposition parties. I have seen in the papers that three other opposition parties are boycotting the incident. PMC has decided to boycott the inauguration of the new parliament by Narendra Modi. Our main reason is the neglect of the president, who is head of parliament. She has been overlooked in the inauguration altogether. The BJP speaks of uplifting the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, but when it comes to the crunch, they eliminate the president. The other thing is, we feel that Narendra Modi is using this inauguration as a bit to promote himself, his own personal image. Not even the vice president's name, vice president is the chairman of the Rajya Sabha, is mentioned in the card. Right, so you see opposition parties taking that direct shot at the Prime Minister saying that it's a vanity project. Uh, Palvi continues to be with us uh, on the broadcast. Palvi, that pitch which came in from the Congress camp after the Karnataka result, that it was a defeat of brand Modi. Do you think that message has resonated across the opposition ranks? I would say it has given them a hope, certainly, that it can be done. Uh, because Karnataka is a big state. It was a straight fight between the BJP and the Congress party. And uh, the calculation of the opposition parties is that a narrative which is always pushed by the BJP, Hindu versus Muslim, personal attacks, all of that did not work over there. So it's quite possible if the political parties put their head together, we can actually defeat the BJP. And a very important point also, Ayushman, is we never saw, for example, the Ahmadmi party campaigning very aggressively in Karnataka. So this is also one strategy which is being worked upon that, you know, there should be a kind of unity among the opposition as far as putting up the candidates are concerned. Don't cut each other's votes because the anti-BJP vote should not be fragmented or divided. That was seen as a test case of this uh, strategy in Karnataka. So post Karnataka, there is a sense of, I would say, uh, a spring in the... Uh, uh, feet of the opposition parties but then let's not forget important state elections like Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan also coming up. Absolutely. Thank you Pallavi for decoding the dynamics in the opposition camp right ahead of the parliament inauguration.